Hello and welcome to the Sim Racing Corner. Today we're testing out 3D Wraps Elastomer Brake Mod for the Fanatec CSL Load Cell Brake Pedal. The mod comes in two versions, linear and progressive. I have two of each here to test out all the possible configurations and in the video I will be doing just that and sharing these observations as we go through them. The mod is a custom 3D printed part in TPU. That's a flexible plastic. This distinctive bright yellow material is used across a range of their products. You can buy these elastomer springs individually from 3D Wrap or in any two set combination. It's also worth knowing there is a slight cost saving if you buy them in pairs. The first job we need to attend to is removing the stock springs by compressing the stack and pulling the rod free from the rear of the pedal arm. This does require some physical effort. It is a tight fit. I found gloves helped here. Installation is also a tricky procedure. I'm making it look easy here, but it did take a couple of attempts. You do need to apply a decent amount of force to reseat the lugs back into place. Let's get straight into this. We're setting things off with the pair of linear elastomer springs. The first thing you'll notice is the increased pedal travel. So if that is something you're looking to improve upon over the stock pedal, you will like this, I think. Um, adding about 10 millimeters of additional motion. So we have more flex with the 3D wrap elastomers. That's not to say it's soft feeling. There still remains a firm sensation of resistance. And as advertised with this flavor of the mod, it's linear. What this means is over the full pedal travel from beginning to end, the pedal has a consistent measure of resistance. There is no obvious sensation of buildup of resistance as more pressure is applied. It's just plain resistance. The firmness of the pedal felt pretty good, but the basic linear nature of the compression of that material, I would say is not ideal. A load cell brake should have progressive resistance as we push more braking force into the pedal. That's the feedback we use to train muscle memory to accurately control braking input. The linear elastomers lack this feedback that I can best describe as spongy. I found it difficult to judge braking with consistency. I was often braking too little or too much. I completely lacked confidence with the brake using these two linear elastomers in tandem. I would not recommend this combination personally. Um, okay then, let's move on to something else. Swapping over to the progressive elastomers, I'm hoping for better results. And right off the bat, this is much improved. I've already described that we need progressive feedback from the brake for optimum performance, and there is a clear progressive sensation coming through now. Like any change to a setup, it takes a bit of practice to get adjusted to, but within two to three laps, I was pretty much zeroed in. When all the pieces are in place, you're not concentrating on the brake. It's simply intuitive. You're getting on with the job, and that's how it was for me. The flex of the spring is in two stages. It's soft until the ribs bunch up, and once that happens, from that point forwards in the pedal motion, as more pressure is applied, the pedal stiffness builds up. 
So we have this 50-50 split or roundabout of a soft section and then the progressive section. It's a useful reference point when you can feel that transition. You can use this quite effectively for trail braking and lightly scrubbing speed without locking up. The overall pedal travel and the feel of the brake pedal is what I would compare to a firm road car brake pedal. After my previous disappointments with the dual linear elastomer setup and impressed with the two progressive springs, I wasn't sure what to expect with this combination, but as it happens, I discovered for me at least, this is the best combination of the 3D wrap springs. The linear and the progressive resistance works really well together. If you remember, I described the linear spring having a constant resistance and the progressive springs having a 50-50 split of a soft and progressive element. So combined with this linear and progressive spring, we're reducing that soft section of the pedal travel to 25%. And we're also getting some stiffness from the linear spring coming through during that first phase. Then throughout the rest of the pedal travel, there's a really good progressive curve of resistance. I'm stamping on that pedal with as much force as I feel necessary. And what's happening is the car is slowing down precisely to that input. It's easy, it's natural. I'm in tune with the car and very confident on the brake with this setup. As much as I liked the two progressive springs working together, um, I find using the progressive and the linear spring combination I'm using here much better and the perfect combination. If there's anything negative to say from my testing so far, is when using two of these 3D wrap elastomers, regardless of the combination, the increase of pedal travel does feel significantly longer than the stock Fanatec elastomers. It's closer to a road car brake pedal than it is to a racing car brake pedal setup. And even I admit, I find using two 3D wrap elastomers, the pedal travel is a bit longer than I would normally like. I can get used to this, but what I would really like is something in between the stock Fanatec elastomers and the 3D wrap mod elastomers. And this is possible simply by combining the 3D wrap mod along with the Fanatec elastomers. This is the 3D Wrap Linear along with the Fanatec Elastomer Springs. What I said just a moment ago regarding pedal travel, well, this is an instant difference and subjectively from my end, a positive difference. The Fanatec Elastomers by themselves I find overly stiff, but in combination with the 3D Wrap mod, it feels like a firm high-end racing ready brake pedal. Longer pedal travel than the stock pedal, but shorter than using the two 3D wrap elastomers when they're working together. This is the in-between I've been looking for, and the pedal resistance feels really good. Despite me using the linear 3D wrap spring, which at the top of the video, as you know, I wasn't a massive fan of when I was using two of those, we're getting progressive resistance from the Fanatec elastomers. It's like combining two flavors. Individually, they might be bland, but together they complement each other. And now we're onto the final possible combination, the 3D Wrap Progressive Elastomer and the Fanatec Elastomer Spring Sandwich. And this flavor combo simply nails it for me. Like a boss fight in a movie, I have left the best till last, guys. In my feature review for the Fanatec CSL pedals, I was critical about the brake pedal stiffness and short pedal travel and the potential to look towards a mod to improve upon this situation. And this is exactly the solution I was looking for, using the single progressive 3D wrap elastomer along with the Fanatec elastomers together, work in perfect harmony, the perfect solution for me. The pedal feels solid, but with the right amount of balance between motion and resistance. And when you get that perfect balance, the sensation from the pedal it improves your braking consistency and control. 
and all we've effectively done is alter the configuration of the material being compressed behind the pedal. It's still the same load cell. I'm fully aware that these sort of modifications can make a significant difference to the driving experience. I've modded other pedal sets guys, I know what I'm doing, I've done this before, and simply testing all these configurations for this video reminded me again, reinforcing that message, that you can make this small change to the brake pedal and you can elevate it from being somewhat bland and difficult to use maybe to something much more high-end and awesome. Do bear in mind that a review like this is somewhat subjective in some areas since I have a different sim rig setup to what you have. You know, the pedals will be mounted differently probably um, and in which case you do want to add some wiggle room to what might be best for you, what would work best for you. Uh, but firstly, I'm assuming you're watching this video this far into the video as you're not happy, you know, you're not satisfied with that stock brake pedal. In which case I can highly recommend this 3D wrap mod as a fix for that. Then it's the case of which elastomer or elastomers you should get. You could buy four of these and do what I have done, you know, test them all, but you know, the cost adds up, it's expensive in that case, and I, I really wouldn't do that if I was you. The safe option is a single linear and a single progressive. That gives you three distinct configurations to test. If you race in socks, you might prefer using two 3D wrap elastomers. Being a bit softer may feel more comfortable. I can certainly understand that, but with shoes it may feel too soft and just a single 3D wrap elastomer might be the better option. Socks or shoes is another factor to think about. How it pans out is entirely subjective to the individual, so you need to find that out for yourself. Uh, but what I can say for sure is this 3D wrap mod has upgraded the feel of the brake pedal for me. So it's much better now, so going forward, you know, as long as I use these pedals, I'll be using this mod. In conclusion, if you're struggling with your stock Fanatec load cell brake, then I'm certain the 3D Wrap Elastomer mod is most likely the best solution for you too. And that's it for this one guys, thanks very much for watching and until next time, happy simming and bye bye.